Yo, what's going on people? Welcome to a brand new tutorial how to play Life After on PC. So recently NetEase has added a PC version for Life After. So just open up your Google Chrome, your browser, type in lifeafter.game and when you get to this you can instantly see that get it on Google Play, download it on App Store and there's a PC version. So once you download it, search up Life After you obviously have to install it and then just install it after finishing the installation then you can open it now my recommendation is always run the app as administrator okay always do that so we run it as an administrator but before we do that here's one thing that you guys have to know your servers will depend on the region you are in or the place you live in all right so don't open that yet just type in region in your search then click region settings and here as you can see country or region you can select indonesia if you select that then you're going to be in c servers if you select france for example you won't have any servers because that pc version is released only for any servers eu does not have a pc version yet so if you select Lithuania, for example, that's another, you know, EU language that does not have any server. So only C, only NA servers are available. So if you want to play in C servers, select Indonesian. And if you want to play in any server, select United States, right? This one. Now for now, guys, I will tell you one thing. C servers is who gets the things first. So currently, as of this video being recorded right now, it is Friday, October 18th. There is no any servers on PC version yet. So I cannot show you guys. You cannot play on PC version yet on, you know, any servers. But let me show you a quick example. So I changed my region to United States right now, right? As you can see, it's launching, doing its thing. And to get into full screen, just press F11. Now I can tell you guys, the sound is extremely loud. Now before you guys continue, this is what you have to do because, you know, the sound is extremely loud. It's extremely loud, dude. But the thing is, as you can see, invalid login method and you won't be able to log in because there is no any server like made on that PC version. So we have to wait, right? So Alta 4, close that app and I will show you on Indonesian region. So right now I select Indonesia, as you can see, Indonesia. That's what we're going for. And once you select that, you launch your Life After PC version app again. And as you can see, launches perfect, looking fine, beautiful quality, beautiful font. Um, yeah, pretty much. Then you click login, you log in with Google Play, and there you go. So if you want a full screen, you have to press F11 on your keyboard. I already have an account here in Charlestown. This is, as I said, C servers get things to test first. So this is what I will be testing. I will show this as an example on C server. Well, let me log into that. This is just my alt account. I don't play on this server. From time to time, I actually come to the server just to say hi to people. And there's actually fans on the server that know me. When you log in the first time, you're going to see keybinds. Obviously, you can skip this. It doesn't matter. Just click on the screen and look how things are smooth, guys. Look how everything is smooth. The first thing that I noticed is the quality is amazing, okay? Like everything is crispy clean, like everything is sharpish. Quality is amazing and no lag, nothing, dude. No lag, nothing. So I cannot sprint. My character is not sprinting if I hold W down, which is a little bit of a letdown. But man, I am actually, I have 300 ping on the server, as you can see, 300. That is normal because that's C server and I live really far away from Indonesia. But if you go to benefits, like look at the quality, dude. It's amazing quality. That's what we're supposed to see on our PC screens, right? So if we all go to our settings right here, then you can go to display, full screen mode, no. And you can do that, right? That's how you go full screen. You can go through the settings or just click F11 on your screen. Just like that, it goes full screen. And if you go to settings again, it's gonna say it's on full screen. And that's how you turn off full screen, basically. You can hide tags so it doesn't show tags for your people, you know. That decreases a little bit of lag. I think that's how it works. I don't know, but uh, if I'm wrong, let me know. Movie graphics, let's see how Life After looks like on movie graphics. You can actually select resolution here, which is a huge, huge thing you should do. 
So resolution is what makes your text like blurry and such stuff like that. And the higher resolution, the more pixels the game is going to have, right? So you want to go for the maximum resolution, but the, the more resolution, the more laggy it's going to be. So PC version, I'm actually surprised by Nettie's. I'm surprised. So this is a full resolution. That's 1920, 1080. That's like HD. And that's what I want. So confirm. And holy heck. Game looks clean, man. Like we can see the gra the graphics. There's so many pixels I can see. It's like clean graphics, bro. I'm actually surprised. My hair isn't even blonde. I'm white, dude. But uh, go to our profile. I mean, no lag at all, man. Easy, clean scrolling. I like it. Let's go full screen, and this is how full screen looks like. As you can see, guys, I can. It's cool, man. It's cool. So let's go to the mall. Let's go to outfits. Let's see what outfits we got. This is C server, so they have everything. It's like any server. Um, yeah, man. Cool looking skins. They look really clean, guys. And so much detail in PC version. Um, everything's more detailed in PC version than mobile, obviously. And yeah, look at that detail here, man, on the hair. Awesome. So we can go to audio now. Obviously, you want to lower this stuff down, or you want to just lower it through the mixer in Windows. And there's controls that you can change yourself. Um, first things first, these are like not required. Like you don't have, you don't need this unless you click with your mouse on screen. You know what I mean? Unless you do this and then press with the mouse, then you can of course keep the button there if you want to. And if you don't, you can just put it there, for example, like this, put it in the very corner and then make it max. And then you can press it, you know, something like that. But uh, there's key bindings. That's the most important thing you should know. So the funniest thing is if you hold down W, you're just going to walk. But if you hold sprint and W, you're going to sprint, which is that is actually surprising, you know. But if you're running side to side, you cannot sprint. So, yeah, that's a thing. You have to lock your, you know, movement. If you press A or D, you cannot sprint anymore. That is actually a con. Because on my emulator that I play Life After on, I can just hold W and I can sprint forever. I don't need to hold Shift or anything else. So that's a little bit of a letdown. But these are all the uh, keybinds that we have here. I don't know what that means. And obviously it's in uh, Chinese because it's unfinished and they're still working on it. So it will be polished and maybe we'll see a better version, you know? So all of these keybinds are listed here. You can change them. You can mess around with them. That's what you can do. One thing that I noticed is I don't have lag. Everything I press instantly reacts to me like I press close, it instantly does it. I press open, it instantly does it. It reacts fast, man. Even if I have 300 ping, that's what ping is. As you can see, I click on it and it shows up after two, a second or something. That's what ping is. But on old emulators, like Bluestacks or something like that, it's hella laggy to play because these emulators are unoptimized. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. When this comes out on any version, I will try to test it out on Charlestown. You know, all those areas where people actually lag a lot, maybe mystic bosses, because these are the crowded areas where people always lag. If this video helped you, please leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know your feedback in the comment section. Hope you guys have a great day. See you next time. Peace out.